What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Files. Files is basically a replacement file manager for Windows 10 or 11. I don't know how actually how far back you can use it, but it seems to be really cool. And the best part is I already have it installed and ready to go. You will find the link for this in the description, of course, as always. And let's just jump into this and hope for the best. All right, so this is it. Um, I have the acrylic theme on. This is what it comes like out of the box, sort of. Uh, this is usually expanded over. Can we actually... I got to figure out how to make it sidebar. Show library section. No. You can actually customize the heck out of it. So favorite section, pen recycling bin to favorites, show library section, drive section, cloud section, network section, WSL uh, section. It's, it's really good. Uh, you can also customize themes. So turquoise, solarized, red wave. Ooh, I like that one. That makes my eyes pop. And this is Nord. We all know what Nord is. Um, this one's kind of just this one, but without, you know, the blur and the background stuff. Uh, they've got one that matches Discord. It's got transparency and stuff in the back. Uh, glass is pretty cool. But my overall favorite one is, of course, acrylic. Now, you got your preferences. So you, your date, your application, your systems... Uh, you can choose which terminal you want, so Command, PowerShell, Windows Terminal, and you can edit the terminal application files and folders, so you can do tons of stuff in here, it's what you're used to. Startup settings, open a new tab, continue where I left off, open a specific page. Uh, multitasking, so you can turn on dual pane or turn it off, meaning this window will be split in two and you can work on both sides. Great for multitasking. And, of course, you can add file tags. You can even make file tags, uh, show the folder size, and so on. And even make it your default file manager. So, to the people that developed this, nice job. I actually love this thing. The only problem that I have with it right now is that when I go to my downloads, what I've downloaded, the newest thing that I've downloaded is not at the very top. That's the only problem I have. Windows 11 did a great thing where it categorized everything by date. And uh, if a new day popped up, you'll get a new download section. That needs to be implemented. That's the one thing Windows got right with Windows 11's Explorer. <sighs> and besides that, look, it's a pretty white theme. Oh my God, my eyes are burning. Okay, we're back to normal. So... Uh, besides that, I have not had any crashes, any issues, or anything like that. Just wish I could make this sidebar come back over. Hmm. I'll figure it out. Anyway, with that, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share the video, all that good stuff. And, um, oh, right, the tabs, look. Look, we got tabs. Yes. What does this button do? What? The vertical? Huh? Okay. Well, it doesn't really do much. There's tabs. Anyway, subscribe, like the video, share the video, do all that funky stuff. Go download this, enjoy it, install it, uh, whatever you need to, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.